Hey, listen up, people. It goes like yeah, this. Yeah, I lost his phone. He must have been high. Yeah, I know. I must have been drunk. When I was just a small kid, my daddy ran out on me, and I grew up without a father. No shock there. Now, obviously, this gave me a huge affirmation complex that was so bad that I developed a permanent need for everyone to think that I'm I'm special, even though I've got no skills, no talent, definitely can't write. And as it pertains, absolutely no creative abilities whatsoever. So I retreated myself into comics and really haven't grown up since. And we're not even talking about the mature highbrow comics. Hell no. I mean, <laughs> real goofy mainstream superhero comics for kids. See, my completely deluded and aggressive attitude is wild. In my mind, if I can shout loud enough and long enough that I am a certain thing that I want to be, then enough people just might believe me. I've been nothing but a basic ass YouTuber for the past 16 years. And even now at 33 years old, I still haven't grown up. I still argue with 13 year olds about who's the best Spider-Man. And I still have an embarrassing <laughs> hysterical meltdown if someone hurts my delicate, fragile little ego. Recently, I found an easy way to get just 13% of my YouTube subscribers to all give me $30 each. And in return, I give them a piece of completely laughable garbage, which also serves as a vehicle for my childish and uncontrollable ego. I'm Derek Julies and welcome to my <laughs> Egoverse. What's good, people? So a lot of y'all ask me, Derek, how do you harvest so much money from kids when you can't write? Well, I mean, I don't have a single skill or talent at all. I just shout at kids and pretend that I do. Here's how you- This sounds just like, I don't know if there's an AI or somebody doing an impersonation. Uh, uh, powerchat.live slash the Ralph retort, check it.com slash killstream slash pay me, killstream.live slash tip, rumble rants. We got some blood sports coming up. We'll see if we can uh, juice the contributes uh, a little bit. I hope you'll enjoy that. I think we've had a pretty good show so far as well. So if you enjoyed, chip in. If you can, also hit like because that's free. You do it. Derek, where's my damn wings and beans? I'm coming. So in this big, wide old world we live in, there are hundreds of thousands of amazing comics, old and new. So many, in fact, we ain't never going to run out. But then, of course, people like me exist. And what I attempt to do is try to convince as many kids as I can that just a small handful of really bad comics by Marvel and DC are actually the entire comic industry. Then, just like every TV evangelist before me, hungry for money, and I bark and I shout and I make the worst kind of noise daily on YouTube in an attempt to create a completely false reality that the entire comics industry is bad and that I'm the way forward. Then, once the gaslighting of my subscribers is complete, and with the financial backing and donation back. from Grinbex and Blazy Media, <laughs> I announced that I'm going to make a comic that is going to replace Marvel, replace DC, be anti-woke, blah, 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 and be all the buzzwords I used in my campaign to get as many $30 pre-orders that I can. And I got a lot. I even got enough to buy my wife a new mobility scooter. <laughs> then it was time to get to work. I spent three whole minutes writing a comic book with my <laughs> zero writing abilities and just sent it straight to print. Boom. I sent out the stupidest, most goofy ass, generic spandex man comic book that you've ever seen. And it was 100 times worse than the few bad comics by the big two that I used to harvest <laughs> kids money in the first place. It was dog shit, dog shit. Now, understandably, I would get a lot of criticism about the good. Groupman sent $5 great show Thank so you. far, Ralph. The main event tonight is going to be a lot of fun. Thank you. Yes, I'm looking forward to that as well. It's about an hour and a half away. Goofy childlike writing and low quality artwork. Damn, Man, thank you. My hand oh my God. Yeah. Cut me down in my prime. Or lack thereof, as it pertains to the product that I sent out. Bruh. I ignored every single rational, genuine critique and instead precisely cherry pick the most insane comment I could find and then invite that person <laughs> onto a live stream and gaslight my followers some more by screaming that this is the only kind of person that doesn't like my dumbass comic. I call it monetizing my haters, but my haters don't give me a damn penny. It should be called remonetizing my subscriber <laughs> as it's just another way of squeezing more money out of my stupid subscribers with super chats. So kids, that's how you gate crash your way into an industry you don't belong that in knows. with no creative ability whatsoever. Wow, that's pretty in depth. <laughs> hmm, damn, this money grabbing bullshit ain't gonna last forever. How the hell can I keep this scam going? 
Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got an idea. Come on, pick up. Hello? Hey, is that was Chuck? The chart. Chuck Dickman? Yes, this is Chuck. Hey, my name is Derek Julies. Listen, I need to buy your name so I can use it to scam, I mean sell, my really crappy comics. Right, okay, well. I guess I haven't done anything significant in over 10 years, and <laughs> I suppose I could really do with the money right now. Don't you worry about the money. I harvested a lot from kids on YouTube. Uh, hmm. You just let me use your name so it makes my goofy shit sound credible. Sure, what the hell? Okay, <laughs> what the I just emailed my concept to you. Check your inbox. Right. <gasps> let me see then. Uh, Pretty damn cool, huh? Oh, hmm. Totally original idea. Uh, hmm. You do know that this is just General Zod, right? What you talking about? This is Zod. You've just ripped off General Zod and made him green. No, it ain't. Look at Zod, Fiora, Namek. It's the same damn people. Shut up. Yeah, when you create a character or characters from scratch, your mind always references something your mind already knows first. But when you're an experienced creative, you recognize that and- Listen, man, do you want this goddamn money or not, huh? Yes, okay, I want the money. That's more like it. Jesus. Listen up, all of y'all. Chuck Dickman has joined my ego verse. He says I'm the best thing to ever happen in comics. Yeah, no, I never actually said that. He says I'm pure talent. Well, actually, I just needed the money. And He's fully devoted to my ego verse. His whole life is my ego verse. He say my comics are the only thing in his life from here on in. He's the daddy. He's my daddy. He's my new daddy. I love you, daddy. Uh, what? And it doesn't stop there. I continue to just Look, they put the black exploitation music over the back, too. We started something there. Myself again and again and again and again, talking shit and having no self awareness. When you're ripping off a charity and you get caught on the street, why Maybe it was do you $5. Do? I believe it was $17. No, $13. When you have a nine year old's IQ and can't do basic maths, then what are you? Shit. I don't have uh. those particular numbers at hand. I believe it was $17. No, $13. Maybe it was $5. Chism. But there you go, kids. There's the whole story. Y'all remember that woman on TikTok who sold a shit ton of her bullshit pink sauce simply by using hype and noise to rake in money from gullible idiots? Yeah, that's the one. Well, that's me. I have observably no writing or creative ability, and I don't care how bad the artwork is. I just throw together a totally garbage product and then shout and gaslight easily convince kids on the internet into giving me their money for it. I am 100% the pink sauce of comics. My name is Derek Julies, and this is my ego verse. Hello? Yeah, this is Derek Julies. Uh huh. What? The International School of Derek, Who? Derek, I'm hungry. I'm hungry now. I'm coming. Oh, the next episode? Greetings, you 700,000 moronic sheep who keep watching my channel. Want to hear me say Star Wars is dead for the one? Ha <laughs> ha! Is that quartering? Ha 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 ha! Moronic sheep who keep watching my channel want to hear me say Star Wars is dead for the one millionth time? Want to hear me say Hollywood is woke for the two millionth time? Want to watch me post the exact same video of pure repetitive brain rot over and over again? Then just repeat the buzzwords, give me your money, and I'll see you in the next video. What the? The quartering making an appearance. Oh, it's neurotic, whatever. Same difference, I don't know. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.